guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're playing some more Minecraft, and today we're going to be doing some mining and hopefully building a mob farm. So let's get straight into it. So I've got some stuff to tell you. First of all, from the stronghold, I broke loads of books because I beat the Ender Dragon in the last episode. Uh, you can check that out. It's in the description. And I broke all the bookshelves and I made a full enchanting table thing. And also, I enchanted some of my things. As you can see down there in my hotbar, I've got some special things. So let's show you what I have. I'll start with the axe because it's got on breaking one. Probably gonna break, but that's fine. My bow has power one, so that's pretty okay. Efficiency four, and I'm breaking three of my iron pickaxe. On oh, my diamond pickaxe has fortune three, and Chris has sharpness two, not back two, sweeping edge three, and I'm breaking three. And you might have noticed I also have a dragon egg in my inventory, so we are going to place that right now. I have brought some blocks that I can place it on. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna probably, oh my goodness, that's not even, is it? Probably I'm gonna have to do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And, you know, I might make this smaller, actually. And then I'm gonna place the dragon egg on top. That is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, I need to clear my inventory, so we're gonna go mining. And just in case I die, which would be the worst thing in the world, I don't want to lose all my armor, so I'm gonna change into iron armor, and then uh, I'll be ready to start mining. So guys, I've got some more torches and that stuff. I think I'm gonna start a new mine like over here. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start digging in a spiral um, so I can go straight down or I might just dig like this it's much quicker and also quite safe because I won't fall straight down so guys I've dug down to level 11 and I guess I'll start why did I take a screenshot I guess I'll start looking for diamonds I think I'm gonna leave I'm gonna close this hole just in case mobs fall down. I know it might seem a little bit paranoid, but I think it's for the best. Ah, uh, by the way guys, next episode, I'm hoping maybe to get the... Oh my goodness. That is the fastest time I have ever found diamonds. Look how far. We literally, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And I've got the Fortune 3, I'm excited. Anyway, I was gonna say, I'm hoping to get the Elytra. I'm gonna dig around this just in case, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose. Oh, there's lapis, some lapis too. So I think this is five, I think. So anyway, so there's five, I've got Fortune 3. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be frustrated if I don't get a decent amount, so. Oh, oh my goodness. A nine vein of diamonds. This is the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me in Minecraft. So nine diamonds. Okay, with Fortune 3, that's not very good. But still, I am absolutely ecstatic. I am very, very, very happy with that. Let's quickly get some lapis. Oh, and my levels are going up like crazy. I am so happy with this right now. 18 diamonds already, I am absolutely, I'm so happy. Well anyway, I guess let's keep mining. Guys, it looks like I've dug into a lava pit. Doesn't look like there's any diamonds. Probably gonna block it off. And I um, guess I'm gonna start going the other way. Guys, it looks like I've dug into a cave. Might have a quick look around. I'll tell you if I find anything mildly exciting. Uh, so guys, as you can see here, I didn't find any diamonds there. So I'm probably gonna like branch out 
and just somewhere here. Um, when I feel lucky, I'm gonna branch out right here. I feel lucky about this. So, I guess just start branching. Uh, guys, it seems we've dug into another cave. Uh, I'll have a look. Guys, I just realized I recognize this cave. I've been here before. Um, I think in episode one, between episode one and two, when I did some off-camera mining, I was here. Which means I've explored this and there's no point of me being here. Which means I'll have to make another branch or whatever. So I guess I'll block this off forever. It looks like I found more lava, which is interesting because I found an absolute ton of lava. Oh, and my pickaxe is broken. I'm gonna go quickly make a new pickaxe, then I'll have a look around there. So, guys, I'm gonna briefly use my super pickaxe and because I don't want to go back and look. Also, looks like there's no diamonds here. I'll quickly mine here, see if there's anything. Nope, there's nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything, so I guess I will keep mining. Guys, looks like I found more diamonds, yes. And it looks like, I think five? Let me quickly dig around this. Ooh, oh wow, this is a weirdly shaped vein. Let's check there's none up here. Nope, okay. Quickly dig down here. One, two, three, four, five, I think, unless there's one, unless there's one here. Six, okay, cool, let's see how many diamonds I get with my fortune three. So I had 18, now I have 32, so 16 diamonds. Eh, it's not too bad, not too bad, from six. That's that's nearly three times as much. I'm pretty happy with that. 32 diamonds, half a stack. And I haven't even been mining for 30 minutes. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, keep mining. Guys, it looks like we've dug into a cave. Have a look around and uh, we'll see if there's anything exciting. So guys, after a look around, I don't think this cave has anything to offer. So I guess we're gonna keep mining. Ooh, this is a... Oh! So guys, I just mined into a cave and it looks like I found some more diamonds, which is absolutely brilliant. Let me quickly make this into obsidian. And I'm gonna dig around it just to make sure that I don't, you know, lose the diamonds. I'll quickly do that. 
think it's an eight vein. I'm very happy about it. Fortune three pickaxe, fortune three as you can see. I've got 32 diamonds right now. So let's see how many I get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I mined eight diamonds. Oh my goodness. And I got 27. Wait, is that even possible? I got 27 from eight diamonds. That is amazing. I am very, very happy with that. I am extremely happy with that. Probably gonna record for a little bit more, maybe look around this cave a little bit more. But yeah. Oh, emerald. Guys, I also just found emerald. I wanna mine that, see how many I get from there. Mining one emerald, I got, I need to throw away something, probably throw away this chicken. I got three emeralds from that, that's pretty good. Probably some lava down here. <gasps> oh guys, I've been looking around this cave and I think I've found some more diamonds. I'm gonna quickly empty one more slot in my inventory because I might get more. So I'm gonna quickly mine one of them first. I think it's just four. Not a lot of diamonds, but I'm fine with that. That only gave me one. I'm gonna quickly look around. Make sure there's not any more. Doesn't look like there is. But still, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. In the same cave as well. Oh, guys, looks like either I found another. Uh, I've dug into the same cave, but I don't think I have. Looks like a underground ravine. Oop, this looks dangerous. I'm gonna quickly have a look around if i find anything exciting i will make sure to tell you guys oh my goodness guys i think i found a i forgot what it's called but whatever a monster spawning room oh my goodness i found an enchanting golden apple right i'm gonna take that i might take the name tag as well diamond horse i'm gonna leave what's in here nothing really exciting another name tag though a golden apple i will take bucket not really that important but that is amazing i might mark off where this is for another episode maybe i'll make like a thingy so let me quickly block this off so are we on level we're on level 16 i really see the problem with this is i really want to make a xp farm but I don't know if I'll be able to do it if it's a spider spawner. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to research that. But I'm really happy with that find. I'm gonna quickly look around the rest of this ravine. So guys, I looked around the cave. There was nothing really that interesting, except for that uh, mob spawner. So I'm gonna pick up some more cobblestone, head back home, and then we'll finally build the mob bar. Right, so guys, as you can see, we are back on the surface, and I'm going to start building my mob farm. I'm going to quickly organize my inventory. We got those 63 diamonds, we got those name tags, we got the enchanted golden apple, and I think we're going to build the mob farm probably somewhere over there, and I'll see you in a sec. Uh, so guys, I'm going to quickly fix up my iron pickaxe so I can use it for the build. I should have renamed it. I might actually do that. I'm going to call it race I'm also gonna rename my diamond pickaxe and call it I'm gonna call it Chris so we've got Chris Chris and Chris and now we're going to build the mob farm so guys the tutorial I'm going to be following today is from phase craft and I'll put the video link in the description so guys let us begin i'm gonna quickly you know i might actually build it in the water so if i fall off i can just fall into the water yeah i think that's a good idea i'm gonna quickly replace some stuff in my inventory and i think we are ready to go so i'm watching the tutorial right now leaving the music off not to get copyrighted 
So first things first, we need the chests. I think. And then now I need my hoppers. Now I need to place stab stabs slabs on top of the hoppers. Now I just need to build up a lot. I'm just quickly break this. So now, according to the tutorial, <coughs> I have to build out one, two, up to eight, and do the same on all the other sides, as well as building up a wall. I'm gonna quickly make an infinite water source and now I think I need to make the giant platform which is gonna be right here. So guys, as you can see, I've built all four gigantic platforms. So now guys, we're going to be building the wall around this. So guys, now we are going to be making the roof. So guys, as you can see, we've placed the whole roof, and now I am going to be placing my trap doors. So guys, now I'm very, very close to being done. All I need to do is place in my water on all sides. So guys, now I'm just placing the torches on top, then we can go down, quickly test it, and then we should be done. Uh, so guys, as you can see, a zombie fell down, and if I hit it, it should drop its loot into the chest, and there we are, there's some rotten flesh. Uh, I'm gonna wait here, like, 30 seconds and see if we get any more mobs to come down. Oh, we've got another zombie dead and we've already got eight levels another rotten flesh so guys i'm gonna come back in a bit to test it out i'm gonna go afk for a bit and then i'm gonna test it out so guys i've been afking in this box for quite a while and as you can see we have some mobs here i'm gonna kill them and there we are we've already got 10 levels let me have a look at the loot, some arrows and stuff like that, and gunpowder and bones. So as you can see this is super effective, and I might do some getting levels off camera. Yes, thank you for watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe and share I guess.